I'd like to show you how to pin stretch uh, your craft work, your needlework, quilts into a frame. This is very expensive to have professionally done. But it's very simple to do. Now for framing, we use a foam core board. And this is what it is. It's paper on two sides and then this foam. And you can get it at your craft store. I just mark it cut it with my rotary cutter and it won't cut all the way through. It'll have a little bit of paper on the back and I can take with my ruler and just score that back as well and then it will cut. Cut your foam core a little bit smaller than the opening of your frame because we're going to wrap the quilt around the outside to pin it into the foam core and it has batting as well. So it adds a little bit of thickness. So you want to anticipate that. Now I've placed my quilt over this foam core board with a layer of batting. What's really fun with foam board is that I can take little hand tucks, little stitches, and pull that down into the board. See here are the stitches on the back and I can knot it and everything and that gives this extra dimension. But I'm going to roll the sides over the edge of the foam board and then just put pins, start in the middle and put pins right down in that foam core. Then I'm gonna do each edge and making sure that I'm hitting that foam core. It's a little stiff so you'll know when you hit it. And then uh, making sure that the tension, the tension is equal all around. Okay, really easy to do. These pins are going to be permanent, so you can buy cheap pins. That's okay too. Then I'm going to start working from the outside of that middle pin, making sure that the tension is equal all the way around. Just work from the middle out and then pull your corners around and put pins right in the end. Now if on the back if this uh, bothers you you just take a little hot glue and put in there and then miter just you know wrap this around like a bed sheet wrap it around and then uh, put a little glue there and this is a great way to display your Needlework, very easy to do. Just take your time and put the pins in at least every quarter of an inch. And that way you'll get some good uh, holding power there. And then because this batting comes around, that's why I cut the foam core a little smaller than the opening in my frame because this adds some uh, width and length on to my piece there.